Hello there everybody, we're here to do the tutorial to install this GTX 970 onto the Alienware X51. Alright, I got my old car back in there so you can see the whole process. Let's start off with this screw right here. It's the first, only screw you need to take off to get the case open. Alright, now you got that screw off. Just need to give it a little push. And the case you slide off. Try not to force it or break anything. And then when you open it, be careful with this wire right here. It's make sure not to rip it off. I usually like to just take it off and move the cover somewhere else and get it out of my way. You can see here we have the two SSDs and there's where the graphics card goes. Right, when you start off by taking these two screws, there they are. Be careful not to drop them in there because they can be a hassle trying to get them out. Alright, now that those are off. Alright, now you just want to pull it up. It can be a little bit difficult. But then again, try not to force it or break anything. This should be pretty simple. And here is my old car, the GTX 670 for the win. Next, we're going to unplug the power cables to the graphics card. And, as you can see, there's no hard drive underneath it all. The two SSDs are on top. I think that gives it a little better airflow for the graphics card. Helps with the temperatures. You have to push down on this little lock and then you swing right open. There's another lock behind the card. There's this little white lever. You just need to push it as you're pulling the graphics card out. All right, now you just pull it out as you're pressing the lever again. This could be a little difficult, so just take your time. Make sure you pull it out evenly. And then it should slide right off. And there you go. There's my old graphics card. Let's put them side by side. And there are the two cards. The 670 for the win is slightly bigger than the 970. Half an inch to be exact. And so you can get a better view. Let's lay them on top of each other. And there you go. There's the small difference. So the 970 should have no problem going in. Alright, let's put the 970 in the X51 now. This could be a little tricky. Uh, just make sure you try to get it to slide in correctly and match the pins together. And try not to force it or you'll damage the card. And then just make sure you get the lock back in and that's all you have to do. Now to put this back in the X51. We're gonna plug the power cables.
Just slip it over. Now I try to line it up and make sure the power cables aren't hitting the fan. As you put in this back in, make sure you line up the car with the PCI slot. And you hear a little click. Then again, just take your time, be careful, don't, don't force it or else you'll end up damaging it. Once you got the car back in its place, make sure to remember to put the screws back on. Again, be careful not to drop them in there. Otherwise, you might have to end up taking the car back out and looking for them. Now it's ready for the cover to go back on. And make sure you plug your cable back together. That way you have those cool line effects. And make sure you line up your cover with the case. Once it's line up, kind of slide it in there. Give it a little push and it should go right in. Finally, we got to put the screw back in. And as you can see, I have the i7-3770 processor. And that's it. Wasn't too difficult. Takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Now let's go try this out. As you can see, I'm using the MSI afterburner to control my fan speed to help out with my temperatures. Let's try this out on Far Cry 3. Alright, in the upper left corner, I got the temperature, memory usage and the frames per second. There's the Alien Winner X51. All right, let's go to the settings real quick. As you can see, I have everything maxed out. 1080p. MSA times 8. Alright, let's jump in the game real quick. Alright, while playing this, I did have the X51 shut down on me twice. And that was because it was requiring too much power. However, I am using the super clock version of the 970. And... I did get around that by turning down the clock speed just a little bit. So if you're planning on buying the 970, I would highly suggest getting the regular and not the super clock. I would also suggest not getting the 980 because you will end up having to down clock it also in order for it to work in the X51. Let me turn down the anti aliasing real quick, see if I can get a little higher frames. I've actually never had this car go over 80 degrees Celsius at any game, 
So, I mean, that's so that's good enough for me. Never had a problem temperature wise. And now I'll, I'll get a close up here on the computer so you can hear the fans. Uh, it's actually not any louder than my 670 for the wind. It's about the same. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions or anything, uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching, everybody.